don't know me, my name is Steve Hayes, and I own Redneck Garage, RNG Performance on YouTube, my YouTube channel name. You know, not once, never in my history of doing videos, have I ever lied, bashed, or any of the sorts to any brand, company, uh, anything. Now, one thing that we do do here is, you know, not only do we do garage content, we do a lot of Sea of Lava content. We're starting to dabble in the KO stuff. Um, one thing that we do do here is we show faults with parts. We'll take something apart and we'll show you what's good or bad about it. It don't matter what it is. It could be, I've done things like, man, uh, we worked on campers, we worked on ATVs, UTVs trailers, uh, we welded stuff, we rebuilt carburetors on my channel, and we've done a lot of things. This, this channel is more garage related than anything, but we'll do anything from camping to family events, uh, to showing you how to fix stuff. We have a lot of videos on showing you how to maintain your CF motos and fix them when they break. And we also have a lot of videos on showing you uh, what bad clutch components do. We've never uh, specifically called out any brand or company or anything like that. We've never uh, lied, we've never slandered, we've never did anything uh, to try to harm anyone. But, you know, I don't just do that with other people's products. Like this video here. This customer has my clutch kit in his Z4 Sport 4 and he has another company's clutch kit in his 950H OEX. He liked our clutch kit so much and said he was having problems with his other clutch kit. He drove 2,400 miles from Las Vegas to come see us to fix his problem. Check this out. This is wild, guys. If you want quality stuff, buy RNG. We can fix you up with good quality parts that will last and will not do what this kit did. This kit binded up. The springs was all binded up. And this thing was super jerky and horrible. He only has a hundred miles on that kid. Man, is it, it's just bad, bad, bad. Is it better? 65 coming through here. Night and day difference. Good, I'd love to hear that. I show that a customer had a competitor's clutch kit and had a lot of problems with it. We have a lot of customers that do that and, and have those problems. And we fixed it. And in the video, we didn't exactly explain what the problem was. Um, we just showed kind of fixing it with our stuff. But with that said, the tables can turn pretty quickly because in this video here, and you'll find it on my YouTube channel, I showed that we had helixes clutch parts that were not cut right in the keyway and had an issue. And we addressed that issue of our own part, our own part. We put out to the wild for you to watch this and show you how you could fix it or that you could send it to us. We would pay shipping both ways and we would fix it and send it back. You know, we got a lot of people that decided they'd just fix it themselves. And when you fixed it yourself, we gave you a credit from your bill. So nobody can sit here and say, we just go after this person, that person, this YouTuber, that company, this part, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's another video that I just put out the other day showing that two years ago, we had bad clutch springs. You know? Bad clutch springs too at one time. These here springs, we didn't know they was a bad. They were a bad batch. They had an issue. We have more boxes than that. We have lots of these. Let's put it that way. You know why you never heard it? Because we had a lot of customers that got these and was sending us messages and was like, "Hey, that one's not right here. Something's not right at all here." Once I figured it out, I came out here and looked at these and figured it out. I was out here in this garage until 4 a.m. trying to figure out 
what was going on with these springs. Why you didn't hear about it? Because we took care of our customer. Taking care of your customers as a company is the number one goal for us. Can't speak for other companies. But rest assured, if you have problems with your clutch car parts from RNG, we're gonna make it right. Peace out and God bless. We didn't know we're bad. And we put out this video to show you guys that the reason you didn't hear about it is because we took care of it. All those clutch springs are all accounted for. There's no more out in the wild. You don't have one. Please quit messaging my wife and asking her how you know if yours is bad or not. You don't have one, I promise. But we did cover that. We've covered other things in videos where I weld something and it looks like a third grader welded it and I'll say, listen, I'm no professional welder. We are not perfect here at Redneck Garage. We are not, you know, angels. We have problems too. We have issues. We just address our issues. And that's why we don't have issues on Facebook with people saying, oh, I bought this from Redneck and, and he blocked me because I had problems with it. We don't do that. We will help you. We will work through the problem with you. We'll solve it. Another thing, you know, a big thing right now is people getting blocked and booted out of groups from mentioning RNG or saying they have an RNG windshield, they have an RNG clutch kit, they have an RNG part that they bought, whatever. Um, there's a lot of people getting booted and blocked out of the groups for it. And that is where this mess has started um now in our groups we don't do that if you come to our group and say listen i found this part on ebay i found this part on amazon i found this part at hester's motorsports i found this part at um i don't know another one of our competitors i found this part here i found this part there they had it right away they had it in stock i was able to drive and get it we don't delete any of those. We welcome competitors into our YouTube or our Facebook groups. We welcome competitors into our comment section. We have a lot of, of our competitors that carry our stuff. There's a whole list of our competitors that we put on our website. There's a whole list of our competitors that we put on our website. Um, they're dealers for, for us and because they're a dealer, they get put on our website. So I'm sure people are calling them because they, oh man, I didn't know this dealer. Would, this dealer is local to me, that's a local address. Man, I'm gonna call them, see if they can help me. Uh, maybe Redneck ha has this part, but they're, they're 15 minutes up the street, maybe I can get it today. We welcome all of that, guys. We want no hate or ill will towards any YouTuber, any company, any product, any, anything what we want is transparency we want accountability for actions not pass the blame game you know i'm getting threatening text messages uh saying that i'm gonna get sued uh, because of this and um the only thing i can say is let's find out whose bank account is bigger than the other because that's all it's gonna be but i have not done anything illegal the only thing I have done is help spread the word of awareness. There's a thing in this country called free speech. I have not said anything out of my mouth or my keyboard. I have only shared what legitimate customers have said. All of that, I'm sure, can be resolved with those customers. There's nothing to resolve on my end. My business is, is booming. My uh, customers is all taken care of. All of my groups aren't getting blocking people. And I get it. There's people that want to go in these groups and cause issues. I am 1000% for them people getting blocked. We don't need these issues to, to keep going in these groups. Block them. I am 1000% standing right behind you and will agree with it 1000 times over. Block those people, get rid of them. But don't block the people that go into a group, they purchase a product from X place or X place, 
and they're having an issue, said place can't get back to them because they're busy, but that post gets deleted when that post could stay. And then there could be 50 others that had that same problem. They could chime in and go, this is what I did to fix it. Or this is what they told me would fix it. This will fix it. This fixed it for me. That fixed it for me. This, that post will turn into a positive post. It won't be negative. But when you delete that post, then people go off the rails and they feel like they're being shut up. They feel like they're being pushed and shoved and bullied into a trash can. Leave those posts. Unless that post is saying, F this, F that, F this company, F this product, boot that post. Absolutely keep it clean. But if that post simply says, hi guys, I purchased a headlight bulb from whoever they bought it from. When I install it, it's doing this. Well, instead of helping the person, they're getting thrown out and blocked out of these groups. Other people could chime in and go, I had that same light bulb, it did that same thing, and all it was was a, a bad ground. I had to fix the ground, or a contact needed squished with a pair of pliers to make better contact. People help people in the community. My groups, you will get the help, and if you wanna know what groups I have, they're listed on our website, right on the front page. If you scroll down, each one that's listed is a clickable link. You click it, it will take you to our groups and you will find that our groups are not you know, banned and booted. Now we do keep ahead of the scammers and all the people that cause issues, we do keep up with those and, and keep them out of there. We try to keep a peaceful group and at the same time, we do let people goof around and, and, and play around, even sometimes the playing might be a little rude, but it's, it's fun. We keep that type of stuff, but we don't keep the buttheads that wanna cause problems. We don't keep the spammers and the scammers. Now, another thing, you know, is we just want everybody to succeed. We want everybody to be happy. We want every YouTuber on the planet to, to have a successful channel with millions of subscribers. We want everybody to be able to eat and have a job. We want everybody to be able to have these toys and play. You know, I, I seen a video where they were talking about there's thousands of you guys and only a handful of us. And yeah, I back that 1000%. That's, that's me too. You know, um, you cannot get to every single person's question. You cannot get to help every single person. So what we do to kind of combat that is we focus on our customers first. Then we make a video for these questions. That's where most of my videos come from. They were all questions at one point in time. Now I have videos. Now we can send people a link instead of typing to them for 10 minutes straight. Okay, because 10 minutes for this guy, 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 it all adds up and you got, we have hundreds and hundreds of people daily in our inboxes. Not just one inbox. People text my personal phone, they text my wife's personal phone, they call our shop phone, they text my personal Facebook account, they uh, message my uh, business account, they comment on my YouTube, my TikTok, my Instagram. In fact, my uh, TikTok messenger, I don't even open it and look at it. I don't know, I know it's got thousands of messages and not a single one have I looked at. Uh, Instagram is the same way, tons of messages. I don't even look at them. I focus on my Facebook and my emails. I have three emails that people email. So yeah, we can relate, but at the end of the day, my customers are the ones that are taken care of first at the end of the day. So if you send me a message last night 
and you didn't buy a product, but you're trying to change a wheel bearing and you need help, I may skip over you to get to the customer that purchased my product. I want to keep happy customers. And I'm not saying I don't care about you and your problem. I'm saying I care about my business and my customers first. You know, we want to help everybody. And I have YouTube videos on how to change those wheel bearings, how to change brake pads, how to do anything you can do on a CF Moto, I have a video for it. You just have to go and search and watch my channel and binge watch. And you know, not only that, but that supports us. That gives us a little something back for helping you in return. So we completely get that side of it. But I will never blame my problems on another person. I take actions on my problems. I admit my faults, I admit my problems. You know, my products have had issues in the past. I came out on the internet, and trust me, I didn't want to. I don't like admitting my problems. Nobody does. Nobody likes to say, hey man, I fucked up, right? But, the more you do, the bigger the man you are. Not only that, and I didn't know it at the time, when I made those videos, every video has gained me hundreds of subscribers from that video. The one video got 20,000 views. I gained 1,000 subscribers just off of one video. Uh, we won't even talk about ad revenue. My Helix video, it made $1,000 in ad revenue, okay? Which is good because it, <laughs> it helped me fix the problem, you know, so that money went back to you guys, the customer. And that's great because it helped me. It helped me get through that situation. God has his own ways of helping you get through tough times. You don't know he's helping you until he's helping you. You know, you may be sitting down here praying, God, please... I got hundreds of helixes out here that are fucked up. How can I do this? Because you know, as a small business owner, it can take a toll on you. But no matter what, dude, I'd have sold my house to make that right. I'd have lived in a camper for a while to make that right. I'd have sold my camper. I'd have sold all my toys to make that right. I'd have sold my truck. Whatever I got to do to make it right, you know? And we've grown so much because of that. And we want to thank all of you. If you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber. But I want you to know, there's a lot of crap going on. And I feel like Pam Fingers is pointing towards me because I'm helping you get the word out. And, you know, only thing I can hope for is people start doing better. They take some accountability and start making changes where they need to, to do better and make things right. Instead of passing the blame on old redneck, oh, it's redneck's fault. It's redneck's fault my customers don't like me. It ain't my fault. I'm not the one that wouldn't help them with a product. I'm not the one that told them to pound salt. I'm not the one that ignored their cries and their messages and their phone calls. Huh? -uh. I took care of my customers. Don't blame me and don't threaten to sue me because if there was a lawsuit to take place and it managed to make it to the internet, I don't think it would end well. And honestly, it would probably hurt everyone. You know what I'm saying? Not just me, not just you, the whole community. I think it would ruin the whole community. And I think this whole crap is pushing people away from CF Moto. We don't want to push them away from CF Moto. I have nothing to do with CF Moto. CF Moto don't pay me. They don't talk to me. They don't send me letters. They don't come kiss me. They don't come hug me. They don't knock on my door. We have nothing to do with CF Moto. We just love budget-friendly machines that are capable of doing badass shit, right? And we love our to do our, our YouTube around it. 
But I feel like, you know, this type of crap is going to push people away from CF Moto, and it really just needs to stop. But at the same time, I'm redneck, and uh, I won't sit down and take a beating. I will fight and fight and fight and fight until I win. So the best bet for everyone is to quit passing the fingers in the blame game, take accountability for your own actions, fix what you've messed up. I fixed what I messed up publicly, and that's that. Peace out. God bless, guys. I don't want this to be a, a negative video. I want it to be positive, and I want all this to be fixed and so everyone can go along their happy, merry way. I want companies to get along with each other. I want them to not delete each other from the groups. I want them to shake hands and continue to build badass shit. Okay? I want this to keep growing for CF Moto, man. We can't even get an aftermarket light bulb, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's hard enough to find wheels because CF Moto had to choose a dumb shit wheel pattern. Bolt lug pattern. You know what I'm saying? We need parts. We need companies like me and other companies to do what we do to give these people options. Instead of fighting like it's World War IX in the groups, we don't need all that crap. Stop blocking one another. Stop blocking people when they have a question that they can't get answered. Stop booting people. Stop and then stop placing the blame on other businesses. Start supporting other businesses. Start showing that this is not a communist Facebook groups. We know Chinese is communist. Let's not be that way. Peace out. God bless.